Okay, so this is it. This is the drive shaft under the car. These are the four bolts that you have to remove. Oh. Show you how I usually do this. Uh, you're going to want to have the wheels held with the brake because if the flange is spinning, this is called the pinion flange here. If this part spins, then you can't take these bolts loose. So you want to set your brake really tight. Or you could do this on ramps. And if you did it on ramps, then you would be able to uh, keep the wheels from spinning that way. Okay. So I like to use a lot of extensions on the ratchet when I get on this so I can get up against this really well. I have the wrong size socket here. I thought this was 18 millimeter. Mistakes were made. Okay, I'm back. Um, I've got the correct size socket this time. I believe I said earlier that these were 18. I think they're actually 19. I'm going to find out just here in a second. As you saw, that deep socket was not going to work well with these because of the way the shaft is so close to them. You saw it turned a little bit. It was turning because the transmission's in neutral. You want to crack these loose and then take them out. And if you've taken the shaft out before, you want to watch out because it will come right out and it might decide to smash you in the face. And uh, that's good time. Okay, so that one's loose. I like to use a lot of extensions when I do this so that you can get a less extreme angle on the ratchet. So you can get the ratchet as close to the shaft as possible to keep the approach here straight as possible. Sometimes you might have to release the brake, turn the, the wheels or something to get the angle right. So you can get on these bolts. It looks like I'm getting lucky here. I don't have to mess with any of that. Right. So I've broken them all loose and I could probably get these all out by hand here. Yeah. And you can't see it in the video here, but I'm kind of guarding myself from the shaft with my arm here. out first. This will be the same no matter what Crown Vic model you have. You might have an aluminum shaft, you might have a steel shaft. They're all attached the same way. Okay, there's the top one. This is a uh, grand marquee with a police shaft in it. So that's why you see it has the spacer here. Now I have a manual transmission in this car, but I still have to run the spacer. So if you swap to a manual, you can use the spacer if you have a police car, or you can switch to a steel shaft if you wanted to. And yeah, so now the shaft is 
disconnected and to remove it from the transmission end all you have to do Yeah, all you have to do is go ahead and pull it out. And if your transmission's full and slope back, you might leak some fluid out on the ground when you pull the when you pull the yoke out of the uh, transmission. Mine is flat, so it's not letting any oil out. That is how to take the drive shaft out.